you tra if you're traveling Africa and you want to come to have incredible food, you have to come to Cape Town. In the last 20 years, a bunch of chefs from overseas arrived here discovering the bounty that Cape Town is in terms of climate and terroir. Obviously, the wines have been here for a long time as well. The food, the food industry has exploded because for some reason, there's always amazing restaurants in an area where wine grows. It's just, a, there's a synergy between the two, obviously. So, the wines inspire the others and everybody, you know, gets, gets fired up. The brewing industry is just tagged on the roaster, coffee roastery, so suddenly there's, a, there's an explosion of deliciousness almost. I ran a fine dining establishment for, for 10 years and it was amazing, but I really wanted to open a casual eatery and the food barn is that, it's, a, it's casual fine dining. So we still put a lot of thought on, on, to, to what's in the plate and the, season, the seasons. What makes the dining experience in Cape Town phenomenal and different is that you get world-class cuisine with obviously with an African twist, you know, the, with, there's ingredients that we only have here at a fraction of the price. Uh, the people that come here, they, they, they see the quality of our produce, the quality of what's on the plate, the originality of the food, and they, they, they just can't believe that it costs them so little. It makes, you, it makes you want to charge more, actually, but anyway, it's gone. There's great chefs in Joburg, there's great chefs in Durban. The thing about Cape Town is the proximity of the of the wine lands. We're, we're in the country, I mean, we're in Nodok, and it's uh, like down, down by the beach. Although there is an, there's an amazing vineyard right here. I mean, just before harvest, we get, we get the most amazing uh, table grapes to put, to put on our tables every day. The winemaker brings me some and we put it on the table so people can taste what's being harvested uh, 10 minutes up the road. You know, so there's a, there's a big connection to, to the land, to the terroir, to the sea. We try to procure ingredients that come from a radius of about 80 kilometers around us. The meat has to have had a happy life. The fish has to be sustainable. It's all, it's a, it's a consciousness and it's very present in Cape Town. If you're a foodie and you travel, chances are you've been to France, chances are you've been to Spain, and chances are you've been to California. And the biggest difference, I think, apart the fact that it's more affordable, there is that, that energy, there's that, there's that the fact that Cape Town still is on the African continent and Africa is wild, it still is. And that energy comes through and it, 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 it takes over you as a, as a creative, as a person. When, you, when, you're, when you're in a profession, you, when you're a chef, when you're a winemaker, you, 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 get, you, you get into it. So it's, a, it's an attractive destination for, for creative young chefs. The food I produce here is probably very different to the food I would produce if, if I was in the south of France. I'm convinced of that. It's, we are influenced by the energy of this, of this place. And, and the food is awesome. It really is. So there's only one thing to do is to come and try it.